Hey guys, welcome to the weekly reading for Scorpio. We have the cold as ice card. Okay, we had two that flew out. We have the Hermit Virgo energy. We have the Page of Cups. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio energy. We have the King of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Clarify the cold as ice card. We have date. Clarify Hermit, Page of Wands. Clarify the Page of Cups. Somebody that was sending you mixed signals wants to see you or wants to spend some time with you. This is somebody that literally could have ghosted you or they stopped speaking to you. There's been no contact or there's been silence between you and this person. You're about to receive communication from this person and they want to see you like they want to spend some time with you they may want to see you in person talk to you in person um here we have this king of pentacles and we have the page of pentacles somebody yeah this person's wanting a new opportunity with you they may even come in and apologize with the page of cups um for the uh, maybe for how things ended or they may even say they've changed but definitely somebody that wants a new opportunity with you um what is the death card healing maybe they are changing Accepting a girl's self-care healthy choices. Yeah. Tell me more. And didn't I say this person possibly ghosted you? <laughs> I mean, yeah. You guys have maybe been healing. You know, things ended kind of weird between you and this person. What does this mean for them? Whoever this person is that's coming toward them. They've been suffering in silence. <laughs> Why? Mirroring. They've been doing some self-reflection here. Yeah. Five, three of Pentacles. What about Three of Pentacles? The King of Cups. What does this have to do with, could be dealing with a Pisces, Cancer, or a Scorpio, but you guys could be getting, hmm, tell me about this King of Cups, Judgment, no, this is that same person, this is that same, I mean, unless you have multiple people that want another chance with you, but, um, Mary, what is the Three of Pentacles, the Lovers, Gemini Energy, and the Seven of Cups, this person had options. Yeah, this person had options. I don't think that maybe this person was making up their mind about something with judgment. Yeah, this person was confused or they didn't know what they wanted. Yeah, I think that they had a decision to make in love. Seven of Wands, Injustice. Somebody wants to come in and I feel like there maybe has been a decision made and somebody wants to come in and try to fight for this, make things right with you. Yeah, somebody feels like you are their person. With the death, with the King of Pentacles and the Page of Pentacles, this person may have changed. They may have finally grown up or, you know, leveled up in some way. I won't say they're perfect. You know, nobody's perfect, but they may have leveled up and then healing came out right after that, you know. So they could be trying to heal or change or level up. This person does feel like you are their person. This could be a double earth sign connection. I feel like that comes out a lot for the Twin Flame Collective Readings. Um, we have to clean, yeah, clean up. Somebody's like trying to, or what about the Queen of Pentacles and the clean up? No. Somebody feels like you are their match, okay? So they're cutting off karmic ties or they're trying to do the inner work here because they want you. They want to make something manifest with you. Gemini, Virgo, Aries energy. Yeah, they're very, or they're very clear about this. They, they may have not taken action on it, but they're very clear that, you know, they want to reunite with you, that they, you guys have a very strong relation, like bond, connection, that they want a relationship with you. When I feel like in the past, this person didn't know that before, that they did not know if they wanted a relationship with you or not. So I feel like this person maybe even gave you the vibes that they weren't interested or they kind of ignored you. They kind of put you on the back burner. I feel like this person was focused on other things because in the traditional four of cups, there's one cup that's being like offered to the person and then there's three cups on the ground. It's like this person was focused on everybody else but you. I don't know. But now they want you back. Yeah. They're, they're trying to get in alignment with you. Get on your level or get on the same page as you. What else do they need to know about this situation, Spirit? What is the truth of... What, what energy is this person in? Like, what is their true intention? Because I definitely feel like this is somebody that ghosted you. What's this person's true intentions? Sexual, wow. Sexual encounter, that's not what I wanted to see. I'm sure that's not what you guys wanted to see either. I mean, some of you guys may want to sleep with this person, but 
Not that mean. They're only, tell me more before I say what I was going to say. Queen of Cups and the Nine of Swords. Stressed out with <laughs> the Ace of Pentacles. This per Is this person afraid that all you'll want them for is, or is this person could be worried that all you'll think that they want you for is that? This person knows that you're intuitive or something like that. Ace of, yeah, they want to be back together with you. Ace of Pentacles and the manifesting you card wants you back moving into a, what, what about sexual encounter though? Yeah, two of Pentacles and the moon. This person knows that you're aware of something that they did. This is what I'm kind of, or they're stressed out about it. This person knows that you're very intuitive. Some of you guys could be water signs, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Or the, I don't know. What's this have to do with my collective? The Ten of Wands and the Eight of Pentacles working on what? The Seven of Wands. You guys are, you guys do not want this person's bullshit. Like, you do not want their baggage. You don't want their, you know, all their, their issues and all their problems. I do think you guys are aware. I feel like this person doesn't know if you know something or not. Because I feel like this person has been maybe sleeping with somebody else or they were like, yeah, they explored other options. They did sleep with other people. And I do think that they regret it. But I feel like this person knows that you maybe know. Tell me more. Taming hunger. Yeah, now they don't want to be a player no more. Now they don't want to sleep around anymore. But I do think that they did this while they were dealing with you at some point. This part, yeah, what about the Six of Wands? Yep, the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Pentacles again and the Ten of Cups. They feel like you're the one. Yeah. They feel like taming a player, success, high profile, love, pride. Mm. They view as their, they, they feel like they could be happy with, or they couldn't see it at the time. They couldn't see what the two of you could be at the time. That's why I was saying that with that, yeah, this person was not seeing what a catch you were, or they knew that you were a catch, but what's the problem with this person? It's time and... They were running. I think that this person was running from leaving the player lifestyle behind. I'm going to be honest. Like, this person likes to have options. They like to get attention. They love attention. They like to get attention from multiple people. They like to have people, pine, like, multiple people pining after them or competing for them. And I feel like this person knew that you were a catch, but they knew that to really be with you and to, to have, you know, have long-term access to you, they were going to have to leave that lifestyle behind. And I feel like they were avoiding doing that. Mm. So we have the four of pentacles. Yeah, holding on to something. See, queen of cups. What's the queen of cups? Or they're still holding on to somebody else. Yeah, they could also be worried that somebody is going to, if somebody knows that, is going to find out that they're dealing with you. They could be holding on to a queen of, what about the temperance card? Sagittarius energy. The king of wands. And the eight of wands. Yeah, I feel like there's somebody that they slept with. Yeah, ch what about children? The awakening. Feeling of oneness. Surrendering to what? Five of cups. That they have regrets now. But what does children have to do with the situation? Dark night of the soul. They're something about inner child here. Yeah. So they're in regret. I feel like this person regrets being lustful. They could have reconciled with somebody because they were insecure or they wanted to have control. What does this have to do with you? See, there's that. So you guys are definitely, some of you guys definitely could be an earth sign. Taurus, Virgo, or a Capricorn. Tell me more. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Somebody's slowly moving towards you. Queen of, see, why is the Queen of Wands here? What are the Queen of Wands? This person has a decision to make. I'm telling you. This person has a decision to make between you and somebody else or you and their side chicks um, or dudes. There's like something here. Why are they in this indecisive energy? Some of you guys could be fire signs. Spirit says that they don't get to be indecisive anymore. Spirit says they've been indecisive for too long. So what is this divine intervention looking like here? Okay, we have the Knight of Cups and the Six of Swords. What? Did the, okay, so I see somebody coming in with an offer, but what, what was the tower or what was the divine intervention that's making this person feel like they have to make up their mind? The Five of Wands. Oh, they may think that you're, you've met somebody else. Divine Timing and Eight of Swords. Somebody is struck... <laughs> Somebody is worried that there's competition for you or that maybe they're worried that you're sleeping with somebody else. 
I also feel like this person doesn't want any you loving anybody the way that you love them. So what are they are they gonna do something or what? We love, something is changing in the star. There this is somebody that feels like they have no choice but to heal. It's funny because I feel like this person had options. They don't like the thought of you having options. There's that tower. Yeah, that's their that's their a tower moment for this person. Them feeling like you are walking away from them and investing all giving everything that you gave to them to somebody else and it's not sitting right with them. Why are they feeling all worried all of a sudden? Why, Scorpio energy with Tower. Why are they feeling all worried? The Ace of Swords and the Money Focus. Ten of Cups. The Seven of Cups. They're realizing that something was an illusion. They're realizing that what they thought was going to bring them happiness, they were really only choosing because of money reasons or something like that. Now that they're going through this, since you've disconnected. Yeah, if you or there's been a disconnection here, or they're going through the dark night of the soul, and a lot of things is becoming clear to this person. The chariot, cancer energy, and we have taming hunger. What about taming hunger though? The seven of wands and the moon. But worried about what? The six of wands. This person is worried about you getting attention. Where'd that card go? You have the page of swords. Yeah, they're watching you. Or they're curious about you. I feel like this person is wondering what's going on with you because they feel like you're no longer investing in them or like so they feel like you must be investing that into somebody else that's kind of what I'm getting from this so it looks like somebody may be finally making the, the decision to make some changes because yeah ten of pentacles and cannot why is cannot be trusted here though unawakened they don't they still don't really get it they don't really get what's going on between the two of you yet so yeah, the world. What about the world? The water catch and the knight of swords. They're rushing in, but they're still conflicted about something. Yeah, there's I, the four of wands is the first card I saw, and I saw it when I was shuffling. They're conflict, fl conflicted about whether or not they want to settle down and be in a commitment. Somebody does not know if they're done being like they don't know if they're ready to be done being a player. It's almost like this person doesn't even know if they can be done being a player. It's like. I wouldn't even say it's an addiction. For some of you, it could be an addiction, but it's like this person just doesn't know if they're ready to be the Ten of Pentacles and the Four of Wands with somebody. Like, can I be faithful? Can I resist those urges? Am I ready to just get attention to be with just one person? And that just kind of shows that this person really isn't valuing what the two of you have. Right. Or they're really not seeing the value of it, because if they did, they none of those getting attention from anybody else would not matter to this person. So I see them coming in because they do know that you're a catch. OK, they do know that they it's like they don't want to lose you, but they're not ready to commit to you either. So be careful of this person. They haven't fully awakened yet. I think that the, what is triggering the awakening, because we did see awakening earlier. They will make some false promises or they will try to play in your emotions. This person does know that you love them. All right. This person knows that you have a lot of love for them. OK. Um, they also know that it's like they know that you love them, but I think that they also know that you kind of like are intuitive or uh, I don't know. They think you're emotional. Um, so what is triggering the awakening? High See, right as I was saying, intuition, high priestess energy. What about the high priestess? It's the fact that you guys are going to reject this person or ignore them because you already know what they're not telling you. Whatever, like you know, they're what's what's in their what their true intentions are. They don't have to tell you. You can feel it. Your intuition is telling you. Pisces energy with the high priestess. So I feel like you guys are going to end up rejecting this person. Yeah, there's that energy of them being curious about you because they feel like somebody feels is wondering what's going on. The fool. What about the fool? That's it's like somebody's going to see. What about sexual? Wow, this person. This person feels like you've gone ghost on them, but they feel like you've just disappeared. Like, you're not talking to them anymore. They can't even get any information on you. This person feels like you found new love. They feel like you've you've you found a new beginning and you've let them go. They also are heavily thinking about you sleeping with somebody else. Like, this person does not want you dealing with anybody in that way at all. Okay? Like, but it's like they want you back now. It's like making them want you even more that you've kind of, like, become this mystery. You've, you've, you've limited the access that this person has to you. So, how badly does this person want you, though? That's what I want to know. How badly do they really want you? Because they are, like, very stagnant. Like, or they're not, yeah, they are stagnant, but it's like, they don't, they're not, 
Are they going to leave this? Oh, see, there's that Queen of Cups again. What about Queen of Cups? The Awakening. What about the Awakening and Six of Swords? What about what about this Queen of Cups, though? The Star. And, the, you know, the Queen of Cups can be like a really healing energy, too. Clarity or truth at what? Yeah, the Queen. Oh, this person's making up their mind. I'm telling you, they're making up their mind about something. If they have a choice between a water sign and, and like, it's like between two, two feminine energies here. It's like almost like an ego and pride thing for this person, too. It's like. Uh, I shouldn't have to leave my lifestyle. I'm not going to leave my lifestyle and I'm not going to change to be with the collective. So maybe they've been choosing somebody else that they feel they don't have to change for, that they don't feel, I don't know. It's just like, it's, this person's egotistical, but they're viewing you as wish fulfillment. So maybe they are ready to leave something behind here, but Sphere says it will happen in divine timing. They feel, they view you as an unknown. They got to go through this dark night of the soul, which is where they're going to get that clarity. Yes, that's where they're going to learn these lessons but just know that in the meantime this person is watching you that yeah say so this person is trying to work on being able to make you happy or be what you need them to be what about the queen of swords healing yeah you know the reason why this person is finally healing and working on themselves is because you set boundaries you setting these boundaries walking away from them ghosting them cutting them off whatever was what they needed to kind of learn some type of lesson here and to heal yeah because i feel like this person it's a lot here okay so let's get some clarifiers what else do they need to know about this person that's what i want to use yeah that's fine They're not saying anything at the moment. Maybe they're trying. They don't really have the words right now. Like, tell me about the current energy and near future. See, I just saw the surrender card. Somebody's about to give in. It's like somebody did not want to surrender to what you were. So this person's very def like a defiant person. Like you were like, all right, either you're gonna do this or we're not gonna be together. And this person's like, fine, I'm not gonna do it then. But I feel like I don't know. I think that they didn't expect you to hold back like this, or they didn't expect you to really like stay away from them i don't know they feel like you've gone cold on them let's see we have regret which that already came out afraid they made the wrong decision feels troubled or remorseful of what has happened sees you happy while they are miserable and can't move on no but maybe later they're still not ready to come forward like they're still not ready yeah we, they're still stuck in some type of illusion be careful of drama and falseness. Being deceived by it's almost like this person's not as sorry as they should be either. Yet they will regret this, but it's just not like they're not mm -mm. being deceived by appearances or people, extreme emotions, and idealizing a situation and or avoiding a, a difficult truth. If there's some, a situation they need to leave or something that they need to change about themselves, just know that this person still really isn't feeling like that's something that they need to let go of or something that they need to change i can see that as well tell me more we have fall time so it says november 7th through december 21st what about that we have telepathic random thoughts and intense feelings brought about by your twin notice patterns images or numbers in your day-to-day -day that reminds you of your person let's time to it fall though small offering I know you want more from me, but this is what I can give you at the moment. I'm unsure of what I can give you and when I can give it to you, but I do want to offer you something more valuable than before. So I don't know if this person did come towards you in the fall or they will come towards you this coming fall. I don't know, but yeah, we have ghosted or you know what? It's almost like, I'm sorry I had to run, but I couldn't tell you how I felt because I don't even know. I didn't even know how I feel. It was much, it was easier for me to walk away instead of having to explain myself. Give me one more card on fall. Yep, I just saw the surrender card, but it flipped back over. We have unawakened. Yeah, I'm fearful of letting go of what I have and what I know. What you're asking me is impossible and what makes me, it makes me feel very uncomfortable. So, it's almost like this person's been avoiding you. Yeah, they've been avoiding you because you're standing on business you're standing on business like 
did they take what give me one more card yeah tower moment i feel my life is falling apart and being pulled apart no matter what i try to build things keep crumbling all around me i wish you were here to help you were the only thing solid in my life okay tell me more If you really knew who I was and how I felt, you may not love me anymore. I'm afraid you'll reject me. It's like this person, this person has realized some things about you. But it's like they've been staying away from you. They've maybe even had this realization since the fall time, guys. Like they maybe, give me what, yeah, we have winter now. February 7th through March 19th on the back of the deck and fateful encounter. So something is about to happen that spirit says is impossible to avoid. Something that needs to happen. Coming in very soon. This is very current energy. Impossible to avoid. Big impact on the future. Questions your belief system. Important life altering event. So that's what's coming up here. So it looks like by the end of the winter time. And what is that event going to look like? Fateful encounter. What is this going to look like? We have deceit. Where they're going to be wearing a mask. Or they're going to be. Yeah. Actions does not match their words. Living a lie and one admitted to themselves. Pretends their feelings for you does not exist. And is, is, and is dismissive of you. So. They're coming towards you in a deceitful way. Or like this person has been trying to act like they don't have feelings and emotions for you. But it says chaser. I don't know what I did to push. Now this person uh, doesn't understand why you're not chasing them. It's like they pushed you away. They sent you mixed signals and now they're confused to why you're not chasing them. This person is playing games. It's ridiculous. It's like they pushed you away. They sent you mixed signals. Look, because they have a big ego. Acts in one's own self-interest, driven by a need to prove oneself better than others. Yeah, it's like this person wanted you to chase them because if they felt like if you chased them, then they would have won. Or they that would have meant like they were superior or they were the catch or they weren't the problem. And I feel like the fact that you're not doing this is making this person feel, it's, it's shattering their ego. You're not chasing them is shattering their ego. Like that's all I can say. It's like this person wanted you to take their breadcrumbs. Like they wanted you to accept their breadcrumbs to make them feel like that was enough. That they were giving you enough. That they weren't lacking. That they were not doing you dirty. You know, and like the fact that you're not taking what they were, what they were offering you, which you should have, you know, from what I can see here. Oh, goodness. It's like, you see, I'm drawn to how this girl... Is taking off this mask and you look and as you can see the one that she's taking off is the happy one the one underneath was the sad one so i feel like this person is going to be revealing their true feelings and emotions here very soon they've been trying to act like they don't care they've been trying to act like it doesn't bother them that they're happy and you know like they don't need you and they're better than you but they're actually very unhappy and I feel like they've been, yeah, they've been acting dismissive of you. But I feel like they're gonna they're gonna unmask themselves this very soon here. Now they're wondering why you're not chasing them. Now they feel unwanted. Now they're starting to blame themselves because I feel up until this point they were blaming you. But the fact that you're not chasing them, because they'd be like, well, well, if I wasn't the problem, you know, the collective would want to chase me. They wouldn't want to lose me, but they're not chasing me. They're not coming after me. They're not even trying to talk to me. They're, they're, they've actually blocked me. They don't want. They don't want. They don't even want me to have any access to them. Why? why I don't understand. It's like they're. It's they've been in this illusion that they're not the problem, or that they don't need to change anything, or that they didn't do anything wrong. But the longer you stay away from them and you stand firm on these boundaries, the more this person's ego is like crumbling. I don't know. Not, but they're still in this like victim mentality. Was it something I did? Was it something I said? You told me you loved me and you never felt this way before. Then why did you leave me? This person like took the love and the, like this person knew how much you loved them. Okay, they did. Even if they tried to act like they didn't, they knew how much you loved them. And they thought that you loved them so much that you would never leave them. They thought you would love them so much that you would never act this way. And they're, it's like, it's kind of mind blowing to this person. Give me one more. We have C runner. See, they ran from you and they expect you to chase them. Well, you didn't chase them. I don't know what you want from me. I love you, but I can't give you what you need. 
they wanted you to take the breadcrumbs and, and they weren't willing to give you any more than that or not able to give you more than that. I love you, but I can't give you what you need. I don't have the time or the capacity to understand our connection. It's best to leave it alone. So they ran. They put this connection on the back burner. They could have prioritized money, career. I was too focused on my career and my goals. I took you for granted and expect you to wait. What did I just say? Unfortunately, you knew you'll be waiting forever. I'm sorry. I never put in the... When you guys were waiting on this person, they were not changing. Nope. And they would have never changed. And you just kept waiting on this. And then they got people that are like around them telling them that there's nothing wrong with them and like putting falseness in their head they have people around them that are supporting this bullshit they were like they had no intention of ever trying to really change themselves to be able to make this relationship work with you while when they knew you were waiting on them now that this person is starting to realize you're not waiting on them you're moving on with your damn life now all of a sudden now they want to hurry up and heal now they want to make those healthy choices now they want to cut off their side dudes and side chicks it's like they were never going to do this and now you guys are going to have a decision to make. You guys are going to have a decision to make.